Good evening. Welcome to our eighth grade step up night as we help to transfer our eighth grade students into high school for next year. We thank you for joining us this evening. Um, after a year plus in COVID and many online meetings, Zooms, Google, uh, meet all of these activities, we know that um, we would prefer to meet with you in person, um, but as we continue to try to be as safe as possible, we appreciate you joining us in this format tonight. What we wanna go over tonight are just some um, basics about the high school program and to give you an outline of your students' experience as they enter ninth grade. Just a minute here. Okay. <laughs> Um, this evening, our Cotter team who will be, who will be presenting um, include myself, I'm Mary Eileen Fitch, and I'm one of the principals here, Dave Forney, who is our other principal, Kathleen Click, who is our academic advisor, and Celia Kaiser, who is our director of local admissions. So each of us will take a portion of this presentation um, as we bring you through the night. When we gather as a group at Cotter, we always start with prayer. So I'd ask that you would join me in this prayer. Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this night, for the opportunity to gather with parents and students. We look forward to the things that are before us, planning for next year. And we wanna pray for our families that you would lift them up and encourage them during this time. Let them know that we are a school that cares, that we have teachers that care for each one of our students and that we work together with the parents to make this a great place. But that's because of you, God that you are part of this. And so we give you thanks and praise. Bless our night and may the information that we share have fruit and be able to answer questions that parents may have. We pray that through Christ our Lord, amen. St. Joseph, patron of Cotter Schools, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Dave. Um, so tonight, uh, what we think it's important to always begin our understanding of Cotter is looking at the mission of our school. Um, as many of you know, uh, who, are, who we are serving and the population we are working with continues to expand. And in July, our grades that we are going to serve are going to expand all the way to through Educare through 12th grade. Um, but what makes Cotter schools um, most significant, I think, to the experience of the students is how we approach learning and what it is that we see as our goals as employees and servants to these students. Um, if you can look at the mission that's on the screen in front of you, the second paragraph that talks about an international learning community um, serving grades E through 12, um, that we hold our students the high, highest academic standards and that we challenge each of them to develop their full potential academically, physically, spiritually, and socially. I think this is something that Catter Schools does very well. And when we partner with you in your education, over the next four years, we are really looking to challenge you to become more than you can imagine, to grow in each of these areas and to recognize, as Mr. Forney spoke about in the prayer, that we have gifts and that these gifts come from God and that we are here to help each student grow in their gifts and to learn how to use them to the fullest so that they can become um, the people that God intended for them and that they can use those gifts to help those around them. So really our goal in the next four years and the way we shape our program is on helping students um, find ways to explore and grow in each of these areas. 
when we look at what our ninth grade curriculum entails, we might think of it as a strong foundation, um, somewhat, if we'd say traditional in that understanding, um, we really emphasize the core classes. So at Cotter, the students will have a seven period day in high school. Um, they will be required to take those five core classes that are listed at the top of the screen. So all students will take classes in religion, English, math, social studies, and science. Most of the classes in their freshman year are not leveled, meaning students would take the same course as their classmates. However, the classes, um, the teachers work to differentiate instruction within those classes depending on the students' needs. Math is the one um, primary exception to that in that students are placed um, in various courses in their ninth grade year. So really one of five or six different classes um, with the majority of students being enrolled in one or two of them. Um, in their ninth grade year, students also then have a choice of electives and the students must choose two of those listed there. So they can participate in various art classes. All of our art offerings are semester long classes. So students would enroll in two of those classes. Um, and the students would most likely enter in either intro to computer art or intro to art. That would be their first class. And then they would take a second class um, in the second semester. Students can also enroll in band, choir, or a world language, or they have the option to also enroll in Learning Center, which is more of an academic support hour um, and an option to get some additional time focusing on their studies within the school day. Again, the focus here is really on the foundational skills, um, helping students grow sort of from junior high into high school to fine tune the skills they have, to work on research and analysis, to improve their writing skills, and to make sure that they have a strong foundation as they continue through the remaining years of high school. This screen, while it has a lot of words on it, um, I also want to note that it is listed on our website and that as people enroll um, and register for classes, we will also share this with the students. Um, tonight on this call, we know that we have students who are currently in our eighth grade program at Cotter, as well as students um, in other schools in Winona who are interested in enrolling for high school. So I'll sort of try to address all of, um, all of the populations on the call in the same way. This is a general outline for um, graduation requirements from Cotter. Some requirements are set by our school and some we work to fulfill for the state of Minnesota so that we can award students their diploma um, at that time. So you can see on the left-hand side are the various departments. Um, the next column over gives the number of required credits. So students here will take, for example, religion and English every year that they are here. Um, they take three and a half credits of social studies, three of science, et cetera. Now students can take more than this in these subjects as well, but these are the minimum credits required for graduation. Um, to the right of that, we list their freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. And most of those are listed in the core area with a recognition that some of those classes, for example, if you look at religion, occur in their freshman year. And again, all students are required to take them. Some have a choice, for example, in their sophomore and junior year, under religion, you can see that they have an opportunity to take one class over another. There's three listed and they only take two of those listed each year. But the main point of showing you this slide is just to give you an understanding that we like to present the students with during their freshman year an understanding of the classes that they will take throughout their time here so that they can also work to build their own schedule and fill in the remaining classes and electives they have each year based on their interests, need, skills, et cetera. Um, another important part to know about our curriculum at Catter is that we try to meet the learning needs of each of our students, recognizing that no two students are the same um, in skill and interest in their gifts. And so we are trying to give them some opportunity um, while they're here to explore those areas that they desire and create a yearly schedule, an academic schedule, that meets their um, interests and academic needs. So outside of our regular core curriculum that would be available each of the years that while they're in high school, um, there are also additional learning opportunities and support. Um, some of the classes are honors level um, and that 
generally means that it just has a operates at an accelerated pace. It will likely go into more depth than a regular course and it provides some additional um, avenues for students to explore within that curriculum. We offer advanced placement classes in various departments. Um, AP courses are taught by CATR teachers. Um, the students enroll and it shows up on their transcript that that's a higher level class. Students need to meet certain entrance requirements to take those classes. And those courses culminate in an exam every year in early May. Um, the exams, depending on the scores, they're scored from one to five. Um, depending on the student score, some universities will accept that score for credit or for placement in college. Um, program for Advanced College Credit, or PAC, is offered through St. Mary's University. Again, those classes are taught by our Cotter staff, um, but they can students enrolled in those classes are concurrently enrolled in the class at Cotter and simultaneously are enrolled in a course at St. Mary's University. They only take the course here through Cotter teachers, but at the end of it, they will receive credit, transcript credit at the university level from St. Mary's University. Those classes come with an additional fee, um, but again, at a greatly significantly reduced uh, rate compared to regular college courses. Um, PSEO options are available to students who are residents of the state of Minnesota. Those classes are options for um, juniors and seniors and they are free. The students take the classes at local universities or post-secondary institutions. And again, they receive college transcript for those. There are certain requirements that students must meet as well to take those courses. And then additionally, as I mentioned, an option for students to take their freshman year, but it occurs all years, is to enroll in Learning Center, which would provide the student with some additional academic support during the day or to give them an hour within their school day to be able to complete work, um, to get some additional questions answered, or just to carve out that time and build their academic skills. And then every student will receive academic counseling. So during their time here, during each of their four years, they will have individualized academic counseling. Now, I realize that's a little bit more than most students need to know their freshman year, but we, again, are trying to give you an understanding of that high level of the academic experience and opportunities that await the students um, when they're here at Catter. All right, at this time, I would like to invite um, Mrs. Kathleen Click up to, our, um, up to speak next. And she, again, is our academic advisor. Thank you, Mary Eileen. So um, Mrs. Fitch talked um, about some of this, but just kind of giving an overview. So um, each year students will have the opportunity to um, select their classes. So for eighth graders that are currently at Cotter, they've already done this process. Um, and those that are transitioning to Cotter will work with you um, when, when you're going through the admissions process. But, each year in February, there'll be a course catalog and a course preference form for students to select the courses that they're gonna take the next year. And so this gives an opportunity for students to actually select their classes. As freshmen and sophomores, there's not as many um, options because you have those core classes that you're getting through. And many um, freshmen and sophomores decide to take their language um, those two years as well. So there's usually only one other elective that they're choosing. Um, but as you progress into junior and senior year, you have many more options in terms of what classes you're going to take. If you're gonna continue with math or do another science class, or if you'd like to do some more art classes. And the course selection process is the um, time for students to be able to make those decisions. Um, we'll work with you and let you know which electives are available. There are some that you have to take one class um, up as a prerequisite before taking another. So those are things that we can work on um, in individual um, meetings with students. Um, but this gives you an opportunity to kind of select those classes. Um, I'm going to just jump out and go show you our website really quick. Okay, thank you, Mary Eileen, for helping me out on that one. Um, so this is the page that's academic and guidance counseling. You can get to it by going to academics 
and going down to academic and guidance counseling. It has a lot of the information and things that um, I work with students on. Um, one being the Minnesota Career Informational System, which is also called MCIS. Um, we have a college planning resources page, scholarships. Um, many of these scholarships are for students, um, seniors that are going on to post-secondary school. There are a couple though that are for Cotter tuition. Um, learning center information, transcript requests and summer opportunities. Um, the college planning resources is um, a page that will give you an overview of kind of the different things that we work with students on. The college planning checklist is gonna be um, an overview of everything that you're going to kind of be doing each year. And then there's other tools here that you can take a look at, um, but we just kind of want to give you a chance to see where all of this stuff is located. So as I mentioned, MCIS is a system that we use. Um, it's an explore, exploration tool for career planning. And each year um, I will meet with each grade uh, at least twice a year to kind of go through different um, assessments and things that MCIS offers. So as freshmen, we will create your account. We'll kind of do an overview of what is here. We also ask students to track what they are doing through their Cotter years here. And so um, there's what's called my portfolio where we'll ask students to track um, any community service hours that they're doing, classes that they're taking, the grades that they're getting in those classes, any awards that they're receiving. And sometimes when students are doing this, they're not really clear on why they have to do it because they remember everything at the time. But it is very helpful for seniors when they're working on their college application to be able to have all of this information in one place. And so um, I encourage students to continue listing those things, basically anything that you're doing through your year so that you have a nice, easy place to find it uh, when, you're, when you need it, when you're working on applications and things. So we'll also do other things in here. Um, Career cluster inventory will kind of give you ideas on what careers you might be interested in. Um, skills, there's also area to do, um, to search for post-secondary schools, scholarship information. And so we'll spend some time um, going through all of those um, through the years that you have at Cotter. And then I just wanted to give a quick um, overview, just a kind of a snapshot of what you can expect in each grade. And again, we'll go into more detail as you are you know, going through freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. But um, one thing to remember for freshman year is that all of the grades that you now get are going to count. They're going to be on your high school transcript. And so um, while we want you to succeed in seventh and eighth grade, now is the time that the grades really um, start to count and you'll be using them if you um, are applying to colleges and things like that. And so you really wanna take things seriously and make sure that you're putting the time and effort into all your classes. Um, we encourage you to explore extracurricular activities, make sure you're kind of thinking about what your interests are and not maybe just going with some friends, but taking that extra step and kind of broadening your horizons to see what else is maybe interest to, be, to you. Um, and then, as I said, we'll use your MCIS to track your grades and your community service awards and things like that. And then through 10th grade, we will um, talk about if you're interested in PSEO, we'll, we'll learn the next steps for that um, and kind of start thinking about what might be next and other ways that you can kind of explore your interests. 11th grade is really when we start looking at um, colleges and what might be your next steps after Cotter. Taking um, an ACT or an SAT at least once by the end of your junior year is recommended. Um, and kind of maybe starting to do those college visits. And then by 12th grade, we hope that you are ready to apply to colleges and um, applying to colleges during fall semester, um, doing the FAFSA to do financial aid for college. And then Second semester is really kind of wrapping everything up and having your decision for your college by May 1st. So there's a lot that goes into everything and we'll go into detail um, during each year, but this is kind of a quick overview. So now I'm gonna invite uh, Mr. Forney up. Okay, we are gonna go to the main Cotter website here. You know, we talked a lot about um, 
your child in the in view of the mission. And so we've talked a lot about academics, but we're also talking about the whole person. And that's what I want to kind of add on to about what's already been said tonight. Um, I'm going to go to two areas, and one of those is in academics, and we're going to go to the back to school page, and also the dress code page, which is on that uh, area. And then we will also look at student life. Again, both of these areas touch uh, base with the mission and, you know, really about who we want the, the student to be about. Um, first page I'd like to go to, if I can get there, is the student um, back to school page, which has a, no, a lot of information on it. Um, on this page, you're going to notice that we have the course preference sheets uh, listed on this side. These are up for this next coming year. And you'll also notice that there are grade level communications involved here. These pieces will be updated more in August uh, as for what's gonna happen when the school year actually starts. But this page is full of information that you would want to go to. Our course catalogs are located on here. Uh, so if you're interested in finding out what specific courses are about, uh, you can go to the course catalogs, click on and find specifics about that itself. School supply list requirements, those types of things. Additionally, the handbook with all the rules and regulations is located here. We do have a dress code here at Cotter and uh, those of you that attend here know that. Uh, maybe some of our new families do not know that, but um, we feel that it's an important piece of who we are. Um, if you are wondering what the dress code looks like, uh, just click on the page and it'll give you uh, some very specific pieces uh, that we feel is, is simple enough to follow um, with specific colors and specific things that we require. Uh, for instance, shoes, um, anybody that wears flip-flops, that would not be allowed, uh, mostly because you, know, you may fall and it could be a liability issue or you could get hurt. Uh, so just some simple things like that. Um, as you can tell from this page, we kind of deal with blue, khaki, um, you know, like boys can wear, boys and girls can wear shorts all year long if they want, uh, which we have had students wear that all winter. So um, just follow the dress code area. We really feel that's an important piece important part of our identity and it helps us to be um, helps our students to feel like a, a community and so uh, please attend to the dress code page for those pieces a big part of our students life falls into student life and we have broken it down into four basic areas athletics club and activities band and choir and faith and community all those very important pieces. Those of you in, in, in that uh, want to do athletics, uh, in the fall, there will be registration available in the summer. Um, and I'm not going to click on this site here, but when you click on it, it'll take you to the athletics page, show you the different sports that, are, that we have. And it also takes you to registration. Um, there, the piece about athletics, uh, especially in the fall, is that those will start before the school year uh, classroom starts. And so it's important to kind of keep in line with what we're doing uh, all summer because there are going to be um, registration practices, uh, those types of things happening before we actually have classes. Clubs and activities, this is a very active page as well does not, uh, is not included with the sports, but we have a number of clubs, um, be, you know, between theater, speech, um, we have spa, parmies, a number of different things that our students are able to do. You see bike lab over here. Uh, we offer that in certain uh, arenas as well. So please take a look at those. We want, again, our students to be involved. Um, and so there's a little bit of picking and choosing. You might want to do a lot of different things, but you're going to have to pick, pick
pick a few and uh, do them well. Band and choir are also big here at Cotter. Our marching band will be involved this summer as well. Um, so those of you that are interested in band, um, if you're not already in it, there will be information coming out in regard to summer programming with that as well. And finally, a big portion of who we are is our faith and community. And that goes from masses to prayer, uh, to the classroom itself, uh, different things that help us be part of this Cotter community that is really important to us. And, you know, I think our students um, care about one another. We really uh, talk a lot about respect. Um, and that's, that's all rooted in our faith and who we are. So a big part of who a Cotter student is really involves with their student life. And it's a great time for students to come to know one another. If um, there's new students listening on this uh, webcast here, I'd ask that you get involved, especially going into the fall, it's a great way to meet new students um, and to get yourself included in the activities that are going on before school starts even. Um, just going back to athletics, you know, the typical things that we need to have you do is make sure you're, uh, you have your um, shots and vaccinations all taken care of. Um, You'll have to have a physical every three years, I believe it is. And so just make sure those are taken care of and handed into the athletic department. I am going to take us back to this page here. There we go. As a student, there are certain things that help us to be successful here. Uh, probably the biggest one is making sure that you are here. You know, we always say you're showing up and being here. That's a big part of, of it. Um, we do have an attendance policy. Uh, we think that learning happens in the classroom. So what happens in the classroom is really, really important. So make attendance a priority. Um, making sure that things are handed in on time and being prepared for class is really important as well. Um, you will go a long ways by following these, you know, simple five things. The learning process is going to be different for everybody. We're very active in what we do. Um, we ask that you experience that in an uh, active way as well and be participants. And always continue to strive for excellence. And as I said before, be involved in the many different things that we do. Those five things will take you a long ways here at Cotter. Um, we want you to be motivated to love learning, to love collaborating with your, your classmates, and uh, to really connect with your teachers. We're here for you, and we really want uh, that experience to be outstanding. Um, again, all these pieces fall back onto our mission, um, you know, making the whole person. And so uh, we're asking you to participate, uh, to be involved, and to do your best. Uh, at this time, I'm going to ask Celia Kaiser to come up and take the next pieces ahead. Hi, I'm Celia and I get to talk to you a little bit about our new space at St. Joseph Hall. We are excited to move classrooms over in July and have our grand opening in August. We will have a back to school open house night where you can, where you will be able to bring in supplies, tour and meet your teachers. I have a few fun photos of the space that will, that will be available to you. In this first picture, you can kind of see um, some common areas where you'll be able to study in groups. And this is just a standard classroom here below. The top right hand side here will be the new cafeteria. 
And below that is just an outdoor space where we can have classrooms where you could also eat. And then there's some also STEM rooms here to the left and classrooms as well. If you are new to Cotter, you can contact me to schedule a tour, placement tests, and register for classes. If you are already enrolled, please check your schedules for accuracy in May and look for communication about open house night in August. If you have any questions at this time, we'll ask you to unmute yourself and ask. Does anyone have a question that they would like to ask for us? We're all here. No pressure. Uh, well, a couple of things to add on here. Um, one piece that I would like to comment and support that um, Mr. Forney was talking about um, is the well-rounded experience. And so we did hit, you know, on the overview of um, the academics piece and some of those supporting pieces for those advanced students or students who may need some additional help. I think it's also really important to note that our teachers um, really work hard. They are so dedicated to our mission and they are here um, early before school and late after school. They're interested in providing unique learning experiences for our students. Um, and I think if we have the opportunity to return to a more normal school year next year, which we are hoping for, um, you're gonna have a wonderful experience in your ninth grade year. Uh, we also have a great campus ministry program. We have opportunities for students to have experiences both in Winona and in, in other, other cities. cities. Um, we have the retreats at every class is a part of and we have um, normally we have outdoor education opportunities as well um, this year we weren't able to have it for our freshman camping trip but that has been in the past and we certainly are looking to um, put return to some of those experiences as well um, and we also have really great celebration weeks we have things like homecoming and winter fest in our catholic schools week um, and we have a lot of contests and competitions between grades. And so I think we have an opportunity for students to really um, blossom in their years here and grow into uh, um, who they are and sort of expand in all those areas. Okay, well, at this time, um, that concludes our program for this evening. Um, as Celia mentioned, please um, reach out to her if you are interested in scheduling a tour or if there is um, any questions you have about the admissions process. Um, and certainly please feel free to reach out to um, Mr. Forney, Mrs. Click or myself if you have any other questions that we can answer for you. Um, we are really excited to partner in um, your education with you and um, we look forward to starting your freshman year. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Take care. Thank you.